Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. And as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, this is actually something that I really need to replace. I've been needing to replace for a little minute. Um, honestly, before I went ahead and got the intake manifold and throttle body ported on Vader, this joint was doing this from the jump, like as soon as I put on the LT2 intake manifold. So that being said, we are going to be swapping out my intake filter because this joint is giving out, no cap. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please none the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. So, as you guys can see, the old intake filter is like. I don't even know how to say it, but basically, it's compressing itself this thing is sucking in so much air that it is literally squeezing like this this is why it's I don't even know how you feel me but like this is a no-go okay it was already like dirty as y'all can y'all can see and y'all be able to see more when I take it off but look at all that look at all that stuff <laughs> like it's crazy I don't know if the camera's picking that up but basically there's a whole bunch of debris and stuff in there and I was going to you know what I'm saying go ahead and clean it and re-oil it because this is the oiled filter but when I saw that it was doing all of this it was like you know what this can't be helpful to the car at all so it's time to replace it so you already know I hit up my boy Matt over at Wild Hammer Motorsports and he sent me out a new filter and we're actually switching from the oiled filter to a dry filter and we just got it in from FedEx so I'll go ahead and show you guys that real quick as y'all can see big roto fab for the win you dig what I'm saying we're about to go ahead and cut this box open pull out the filter but before we do that I want to get you guys some before revs and then some after revs because if you guys have seen the first drive video with the ported intake manifold and ported throttle body y'all know Vader whistles loud as heck <laughs> whenever the throttle is open so that being said I want to get you guys some before and afters I don't know if it's whistling like this because the filter is compressing itself or if it's whistling like this because of the port work so today we're gonna find out get y'all a nice little startup nothing too crazy This is with the valves open, and I'm gonna be honest, I've low key been like thinking about swapping the MPP for a Borla Attack or a Corsa Extreme. Of course, I'm gonna keep the MPP function because I like to be able to close and open my valves, but this is just not, it's loud, but it's not, it's not doing it for me, bruh. I'm gonna just be honest, it's just not doing it for me. And these tips are so small and puny, it takes away from the whole look of the rear end. It doesn't look as aggressive with these tips as it did with the AWE 4.5 inch quad tips. So that being said, I'm gonna let the car run for a little bit, let it get up to operation temps, cause I don't wanna rev it while the engine is cold. And then I'll get these revs for y'all. All right, y'all, so here it is, the dry filter. It is gray compared to the red oiled filter. Um, that's probably the only difference other than the fact that it is not oiled. And um, you can actually see through this drip. So as y'all can see, you can literally see through the dry filter, which is low-key crazy. I mean, there's, like, you can literally see through this drip. I don't know if the camera's picking it up well enough, but you can see through it, no cap. All right, let's get you guys some revs. I think the car should be at operation temp now. All right, y'all, so Vader's been running for a little minute. It's up to operation temp now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys these revs in real quick, and I'm gonna take the filter off, and we're gonna compare the oil to the dry filter. I'm gonna show you guys the differences, and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw the dry filter on. 
rev this thing up some more and show you guys, get you guys some sound clips. Alright y'all, as y'all can see, got the oil filter off, and y'all can just see man, this thing is so deformed, it's ridiculous bro, but as y'all can see, you cannot see through this one, because of the oil filter part, you dig what I'm saying? This is crazy, like I've never seen a filter do this, this is wild, Vader's been breathing for real, for real. Then just so y'all can see how dirty this thing is. I don't know if the camera's picking up all the stuff that's falling off of this thing, but it's 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 crazy, bro. It's mad dirty, no cap. So in comparison, this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> this is what mine looks like. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, bro. This is this joint is pretty much toast. This is this is what you want. So we're about to go ahead and throw this joint on and I'll get you guys some more revs. Alright you guys, the new filter is on, about to go ahead and cut the car on, then I'll give you guys some revs and see if we can tell the difference. Hopefully we can't because the whistle definitely sounded good. <laughs> Alright you guys, so there you guys have it man, even with the dry filter it still does the whistle, super stoked about that. Finally, the car can actually breathe and not have all that debris trying to get in there. And I'm pretty sure that that was definitely act as a resisting point in the intake, you know what I'm saying, system. So I'm pretty sure that the car is going to be breathing a lot better. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the car around the block and I'm going to put my phone in the intake box itself and record while I'm driving so you guys can actually hear it just like I did in the previous clip. If you guys didn't see the video of the first drive, when I took the car out after putting on the quarter intake manifold and quarter throttle body, make sure you guys go tune in with that video. But I'm going to do the same thing um, that I did in that video. I'm going to put the phone in the box and record. So that being said, let's go ahead, hit the road. But I will close the video out here. I'm going to throw those clips in before this outro. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the clips of me driving right now. Alright you guys, there you guys have it. That's going to wrap up today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.